Hey guys, Waldock Studios here, and today we're going to talk about Unreal Engine 5.5.0 release. Um, we're talking about source build, launcher build, UE5 dev, and currently UE5 main. Um, a lot of people have tried migrating projects from older versions of the engine, um, and if you have blueprint projects, the chances are running into fatal error without a crash report and whenever you read the log you'll see that um, it's a stack overflow and you'll see a bunch of files where it says link loader is like um, deferring a load registering uh, the initial index and then it looks like it does that a couple of times until the stack overflows the issue is that between 5.4 and 5.5 release, um, IO Store has become the default, um, basically pack and uh, loading mechanism. And uh, there was a lot of Zen server and Zen shader uh, changes. Um, and essentially, um, there's some also some garbage collection changes, but um, essentially between the two versions, there were some conflicts with the way that the deferred blueprint loading was handled in legacy pack management. Um, there's a bug report here, um, and a lot of us in uh, UE source discord um, and just a lot of us uh, developers in the Unreal Engine development community in general have been trying to hunt this thing down it's massive uh, the code base that surrounds it is massive um, there's asynchronous loading mechanisms that is making it a bit difficult to fully track down but there is um, an issue logged um, they are tracking it there's a target fits for for five six I don't know if this is just being conservative um, I can tell you that we're working to try to uh, have a PR in for the hot fix um, I just don't know if we're gonna meet the hot fix release time or if you know even if we did have a PR say tomorrow if epic would get it merged in um, before release um, there is good news however because if you enable IO store from a migrated project and you're not relying on something like pack chunking with um, primary asset label um, management um, then it should work around this issue for you and you shouldn't see it and this is why it was so difficult to repo because people were trying to copy like ultra dynamic sky into a new third person template and it wouldn't crash and that's because a lot of the templates use io store by default um in in 5.5 release um if you could i will include a link to the bug uh you guys go vote on it please um the more attention um, that gets shown to this, the higher the chances, um, you know, senior level engineers will have their eyes on it. Um, outside of that, there is a few other issues that have workarounds. I would recommend reading through the 5.5 release form. Um, you know, usually it's a, an announcement page for the engine. Um, and, you know, for the most part, it, it did go that route um, but there's been quite a few issues introduced um, most of them are able to be worked around and uh, they'll have what those workarounds are um, it does look like quite a few of them are going to make the hotfix um, skeletal mesh imports uh, one of the new plugins around that is presenting with some issues there's some system ticking uh, crashes with Niagara um, there's you know this issue um, that is able to be worked around with IO store um, yeah and and uh, a, a few others um, unfortunately if you're um, 
you know, a UGC or a mod loader or anyone relying on deferred engine content from like pack chunking, that issue is still there. And um, due to spending the last week trying to hunt this down and create a good repo and, you know, collaborating with other engineers to, to you know, basically thread hunt because um, that section of code is a, is a bit hairy. I haven't had the time to actually shift gears over to uh, asset label and patch chunking and, um, you know, UAT uh, uh, build processes to find out exactly why that's a problem. And it's also kind of, um, you know, getting legacy pack loading working is a prerequisite of that anyway, because if I can't mount standard engine con blueprint content due to a recursion issue that results in a stack overflow, well, you're going to end up with the same problem, um, or there's a really high chance you'll end up with the same problem when trying to mount external content from, you know, packs that are, that are mods and it's trying to load in any BP, you know, content. So, um, just trying to have, you know, not trying to get the cart ahead of the horse and, and systematically work through these to, to get a resolve. But anyway, hopefully this, this video ends up being both informational and also explaining how to actually resolve or work around the issue in the short term for anybody who has already migrated and maybe running into this. Um, yeah, until next time, guys, toodles and happy developing. Uh, remember to smack that like and subscribe button and uh, check the description for, um, you know, Discord, Patreon, um, the bug report and forum links. And uh, do want to say, you know, thank you to all of my Discord members and community members, as well as uh, Patreon members for the continued video suggestions. Um, have a great weekend. Um, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate it coming up and toodles.